Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Casing's all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. They've already been fired. They're worthless. Start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans, they weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? No offense, but I'm not really looking for conversation. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just don't particularly like you. If this is about Vernon, I did what I had to do to get him to help us. I was only looking out for my people. And I'm looking out for mine. That's the only reason I'm here. So, if there's nothing else... Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery, or help with the medicine. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. 
She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Hey, don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for my people. They need this medicine as badly as your friend does. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Phones probably haven't worked in months. Hey, Krista. Yeah? Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. 
Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omi. We've got to get him these meds. I've got things to do. Yeah, same here. Krista. I'm busy, Lee. Just let me work. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're gonna force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Uh, already cleaned out. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? The way this camera is set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it got someone punching it in. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it! We almost had it! What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him.
Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. <laughs> 